वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र रघुवीर देशपांडे फ्रॉम पुणे महाराष्ट्र स्टेट इंडिया वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन द टुडेज सेशन ऑफ स्वस्थ वृत्त क्लास एज यू नो दैट आई एम एम डी इन आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन एंड एम डी इन आयुर्वेदिक फिजियोलॉजी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द स्वस्थ वृत्त नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑल द टॉपिक्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर युअर युनिवर्सिटी एक्झामिनेशन एज वेल एज फॉर युअर प्रॅक्टिस स्वस्थ वृत्त इज अ व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज इट इज रिलेटेड विथ युअर लाईफ स्टाईल लाईक फॉर एक्झाम्पल दिनचर्या डेली रेजिमेन ऋतुचर्या सीझनल रेजिमेन देन द डाएट दॅट इज अ फूड कन्सेप्ट देन इन अवर स्वस्थ वृत्त देर इज अ पर्सनल वॉट यू कॅन से द हायजीन एज वेल एज द सोशल हायजीन बट पार्ट वन इज बेसिकली फॉर इंडिव्हिज्युअल लेवल वेअर वी हॅव डिस्कस द दिनचर्या ऋतुचर्या व्यायाम फूड and also the yoga and nisargopachar that are in the first part and the second part is more social preventive medicine uh, that is related with the land and the light and the water all these things are in the second part so now we are nearly completing the today the short trailer of the part 1 we have already two or three lectures now today i am going to give you some important uh, topics you please write down open your notebook make the date uh, for example serial number first then 29th of october 2023 swastha vrutta lecture and the topics are now go to your inside page and one by one just write down number 1 2 3 4 first topic will be nidra okay second topic will be here you can see brahmacharya Uh, calibasi brahmacharya i will explain what is that brahmacharya then we will go further and we will start talking about yoga uh, and there you will see the definitions types of yoga i think you are writing please write down yoga is another topic types of yoga little slow i will go little slow but these are the keywords that means whenever we finish the lecture immediately we have to see okay we have seen the nidra then we have seen the yoga definition types okay types of yoga next topic will be of today's lecture is regarding the yoga abhyas pratibandhak bhav very interesting it is asked in the examination pratibandha is obstruction which factors will damage your yoga practice your yoga will not be good pratibandh obstruction okay then there is a pancha kosha this is always asked in the examination pancha kosha five layers of the human physiology or understanding ourselves understanding ourselves that is a pancha kosha five shith are these are imaginary there is no anatomy huh? this is there is no anatomy that means we have to understand little bit anatomy but it is not related structurally you cannot see this is one layer this is second this is third this is something like a virtual imaginary next important is a ashtanga yoga yam niyam pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi then there will be the different pictures of the yoga this is for practical also it is very important i request all my viewers especially if you are the students try to do some practice of some postures at least 1 2 3 4 very simple you can take but the examiner will ask you to show me how you can do the paschimottanasan padmasana surya namaskar they will ask you and also you can get very easy explanation of these postures in your purchased textbook or you can find it on the google also the method and the benefits because every asana we cannot complete over here then there is a like our ayurveda panchakarma there is a shatakarma purification methods in yoga purification methods in yoga shatakarma they are not panchakarma we have the vamana virechana basti rakta mokshana nasya pancha purificatory processes in ayurveda but six purificatory processes in yoga okay this is important topic of today then there will be shatta chakra very important here there is shatta chakra uh, uh, mulada swadishtan again you have to make the notes of all these chakras from your purchased notebook uh, sorry textbook everybody should purchase at least one textbook either in marathi hindi or english language and because in the classes the teacher cannot complete the whole syllabus point to point next is a nisargopchar naturopathy this is important then here one i forgot the point in ayurveda naishthiki chikitsa important acq 3 marks 
Naifthiki Chikitsa. I will explain what is that name. Then in the uh, Nisargopchar, on the right side, hydrotherapy with the water. Then there is a mud therapy. Then there are the massages, okay? Mud therapy, then the diet therapy. And this will complete of our fasting, langana, in the Nisargopchar. So this is, in short, the keywords of the today's lecture. And my dear friends, as usual, I will mark the point and then try to explain that particular point. We will start with Nidra. Please write down one word. Please write down. Trayopastamb. Traya upastamb. Three pillars of your life. If you want, you, you should get a good dirgha uh, yusha. That means quantity is important. But more than quantity, I will say quality of life is more important. Remember my words. Quality of life is more important. And there are three things we have to take care of. That is called as a traya upasthambha. Upasthambha is like support. Three pillars of your life. Please write down. Ahara, food, nidra, and brahmacharya, sexual activity. Huh? This nidra at night, minimum seven hours sleep is very essential for each and every person to recharge your battery. This word is not there in your textbook. Please write down. Recharging of your uh, body. Physically and also mentally and also emotionally, you have to recharge. Like your mobile phone, which recharge for one hour, two hours. But our recharging should be at minimum six hours night sleep. Okay, let us start to discuss about sleep. One of the factor of Traya Upastamba. First, we will discuss about the definition and benefits. Focused concentration. This is very interesting. Dr. Deshpande is marking that particular and discussing. Now, Yadatu Manasi Klante. Very important shlok. Please try to remember. Learn by heart. This shlok is important. Yadatu Manasi Klante. Karmatmanaha Klamanvitaha. Vishayabhyo Nivartante. Tada Swapati Manavaha. Mano is a human being. You and me. Manava. And Swapati. Clip down when. Yadatu manasi klante. When your uh, psychological mind is very tired because of the karmatmanaha klamanvitaha. Whatever the daily routine, physical, mental, we do all the activities because that your whole brain is a little bit tired and it requires some recharging. Your brain is tired. Try to understand. And then we retired. Vishayabdu nivartante. Nivartante is a retirement. Go back. Which vishay? Pancha Bhautik vishay. Shabda. Audio. Shabda. Sparsha. Rupa. Eyes. Eyes. Rasa. And Gandha. These are the five senses. We are all using whole day. And they all the senses are tired. So they want to get retired at night. Every night. That is, that's why we get the sleep. Because of the tiredness. What are the benefits if you take the proper sleep? And if you don't take the proper sleep? Both are mentioned in one shloka. This shloka is also important for your examination. Oral, they will ask you. Nidra yattam sukham dukham pushti karsha balabalam vrishatam klipata jnanam adnyanam jivitam maja. How many pairs? One pair, two, three, four and five. You write down five pairs. If you take a proper sleep, you will be happy. You will take a less sleep, unhappy, dukhi, pushti. Strong and stout. Huh? That is pushti. If you take a proper sleep. Karsha, weight loss. Bala, strength. Abala, tired, weakness. It depends on the normal sleep and abnormal, not getting the sleep. Like insomnia. Now many days are suffering from insomnia. That is anidra. They are taking the sleeping pills. Very sad. In Ayurveda, shirodhara, shirodhara is the best treatment for uh, getting the nidra. Oil massage and the shirodhara, best treatments for a nidra or insomnia. Okay. So, karsha, balabalam, vrishata, good immunity because it is related with the shukradhatu. Shukradhatu is related with the oja and oja is related with the immunity. So, the person will have the good immunity and klipata is not only sexual performance. Remember my words. Vrishata, klipata indicates immunity according to Deshpande. It is not given in your textbook. Uh, shukra dhatu. Because shukra is oja. Oja is related to the immunity. Jnanam adjnanam. Functioning of your brain. 
getting the knowledge. Adnana, non-functioning of your brain. Adnana. Okay. So types of seven types of the nidra. Next topic. This is also asked in the examination. Seven types of nidra. Number one, tamo bhava. That is because of the lot of tamo gun in your mind. Uh, lethargy, alasya, drug addiction, alcohol addiction. This and that addictions make you tamo guna predominant. And then at any time you can sleep or uh, at night you can't sleep like that. Tamo bhava. Tamo is a darkness of your mind. Darkness of your mind. Then you get the sleep. Shleshma samud bhava. Due to aggravation of kapha. In obese people. Lot of eating, lot of eating fatty food. Kapha is increased and the patient, that person is always sleepy. Always sleepy. Get the sleep. That are not problem. That are not normal. Huh? Manashrama sambhava. Due to the too much mental work, too much excessive uh, brain work, that also makes the man tired and he gets the more sleep. But they are not proper, I am saying. Only last one, Ratri Sobhava Prabhava, is the normal. All above are not that much normal. Of course, they are not totally abnormal, but deviation from the normal. Deviation. Okay? Manashrama Sambhava, then Sharira Shrama Sambhava. Physical work, lot of lot of work, then also person gets the sleep. Agantuki due to some exogenous causes. All of a sudden, you get some shock, mishap in your family, and the patient is not able to activate his mind. So that is called as agantuki uh, from the external emotional trauma or something like that, or even some what you can say the road accidents like that. Vyadhyanuvartini because of some diseases. You can get more sleep. Okay. Even uh, there is a, a disrhythm of the sleep pattern is seen. You can write down that condition that is called as a, a liver cirrhosis. Huh? And when the liver is failing, liver is going to stop functioning properly, the sleep rhythm is changed. That means the person wants to sleep in the daytime and night he keeps awake. Huh? So this is altered rhythm is very dangerous in any liver problem, ICU conditions. Okay. Now next we will go further. Effects of the Ratri Jagarana. If any persons, now we will see what will happen. If you, for example, there are some people who work in the call centers. Then there are some watchmen. There are the night duties, shift, which is called a shift duty, even in the industries. Even in the hospitals, some doctors, some nurses, some ward boy, mama, maushi, they all have to work night. So if it is a continuous, then that can create the dryness in the body and vata prakop. These people will suffer from constipation always. Dryness of the skin, weakness, tiredness. Then effects of the diva swap. If the person is sleeping in the daytime unnecessarily after the food, Ayurveda is suggesting diva swap is only allowed in the Grishmarut very hot sun, then only it is allowed. For the children, it is allowed. For the some patients, it is allowed. For the old people, it is allowed, but not for everybody. So, Diva Swap, if you take especially obese person going to the shop, having a big uh, abdomen, eating fatty food, ice creams and sweets and sleeping in the daytime, definitely there will be overnutrition problem. Like cholesterol will increase, heart attack will increase. Now, Diva Swap, swap Sleeping at daytime is contraindicated. It increases the snigdhata in the body, anxiousness, aggravates the kapha dosha. One should not sleep in the daytime. This is Ayurveda's suggestion. Okay. Now I have to shift on this right side so that we can go further to discuss about more regarding the, uh, what you can say, the sleep or the nidra. Now see. Indications for the day sleep. Who are allowed to sleep in the daytime? Number one, Gita, singers, using the lot of voice like me, teachers, uh, full time speaking, 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 Adhyayana, then Madhya, alcoholics, Stri, Karma, Bhara, Adhvakarshitaha. So, because of the weight loss, the person having the weight loss, because of the excessive voice use, excessive study, excessive alcohol, excessive sex, excessive physical activity, or driving and moving here and there. That becomes the karshitaha, weight loss. Those who are emaciated by singing, 
study alcoholic drinks sexual act panchakarma carrying heavy weights walking this is the translation of this sanskrit line then here ajirna chatakshina vridd bal and abal these are also allowed to sleep at day time suffering from indigestion suffering from tuberculosis like condition day sleep is indicated by old person he can sleep 70 plus 80 plus they can sleep children very uh, below 5 years below 4 years and the weak person they are allowed to sleep next we will talk the further about the nidra and we will take this particular topics for discussion anidra ha huh? that is insomnia common as anidra what to do what is the treatment ayurveda says tikshna shodhana may be strong nasya may be in, if it is over nutrition obese then you can give the vamana sometimes vamana virechana rakta moksha sometimes there is also chance that bhaya chinta krodh ativayam upavas anukashaya etc so this these are the causes of insomnia not the treatment i am sorry these are the causes of insomnia try to understand ha huh? what is the causes what are the causes first is tikshna shodhana that is uh, the person cannot tolerate that woman person cannot tolerate that mean virechan etc then rakta mokshan bhaya he may have some fear in the mind chinta lot of tensions then he cannot sleep krodh angry nature hot tempered ati vyayam actually vyayam gives you the rest of uh, wants to sleep but if you take too much exertion the sleep is gone very very interesting moderate exercise moderate your physical activity in the day time you will get the good sleep but if you do traveling or anything too much too much beyond your capacity that can make insomnia so i am once again repeat these are the causes here you can see caused by these are the causes of anidra then there is a problem of too much fasting there is no food in the stomach person cannot sleep okay then asukhashaya if your bed is not comfortable if your room is not comfortable your bedroom there is lot of sound nowadays you see that in the ganpati festival diwali festival navaratra when you are a uh, bedroom is uh, near to the uh, this social places or near to the road even the vehicle sound that can disturb you that is a uh, very common problem so you have to rule out you have to search for the what are what may be the cause for his insomnia then if there is a nidra what will happen to your body first you will start headache oh my god i am getting headache heaviness in the eyes drowsy always sleepy and lot of body ache so oh, i am getting pain here pain here back ache that is because of the improper sleep less sleep no sleep okay ati nidra opposite a increased tamoguna or aggravated kapha can cause ati nidra this is a very common finding when you go to any marriage or any your uh, function you eat lot of now in diwali you eat lot of laddu sometimes purana poli basundi lot of sweets and after eating that kapha vardhak ahar you feel sleepy in the afternoon you come home oh i am very much full in my stomach now i want to sleep this is common then ahar vihar causing disturb sleep which can make your sleep disturb for example if you eat ati ruksha very dry food stuff no consumption of water no consumption of meal no consumption of fruit juices no consumption of porridge or the soups only dry 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 huh? sandwiches vada pav all this thing lagu ahar if you are hungry but you are not taking proper food it is very light to digest uh, anashana not eating visham ashana chintana lot of tension shok ati vyayam mithya yoga of indriyas that means lot of screen time the people now using these eyes hours together hours together nearly 8 to 10 hours we are using our eyes that is ati yoga either on the mobiles maximum time in the mobile reels whatsapp all the time mobile otherwise serials horror serials netflix and this and that television computers so this is called as a 
एक्सेसिव स्क्रीन टाइम स्क्रीन पडदा मराठी मध्ये सो स्क्रीन टाइम इज व्हेरी अतियोग नाव हियर लॉट ऑफ एक्सेसिव एक्सेस डेसिबल साऊंड दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज अ साऊंड पोल्युशन दॅट हॅम्पर्स अतियोग ऑफ दिस देन यू आर इटिंग लॉट ऑफ पिझ्झा चीज दॅट इज अतियोग ऑफ द दॅट पर्टिक्युलर टेस्ट सो धिस कॅन प्रॉब्लेम फॉर युअर डिस्टर्बिंग द स्लीप देन अतिव्यायाम मिथ्या आहार विहार कॉजिंग द साऊंड स्लीप बाय विच यू कॅन व्हेरी वेल स्लीप नंबर वन यू हॅव टू टेक लिटल बिट स्वीट बफेलो मिल्क ॲट नाईट देन स्निग दॅट इज अ स्निग द अंकचस सात्मी आहार विच यू कॅन डायजेस्ट व्हेरी इझिली शाली राईस राईस इज व्हेरी गुड दधी बट नॉट ॲट नाईट कर्ड इज नॉट अलाउड बाय आयुर्वेदा टू टेक ॲट नाईट कर्ड इज नॉट अलाउड बाय आयुर्वेदा टू टेक ॲट नाईट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक कर्ड ॲट नाईट वॉट टू डू कर्ड विथ शुगर ॲट नाईट अलाउड समटाइम्स कर्ड विथ ग्रीन ग्राम करी और ग्रीन ग्राम उसळ इज अलाउड कर्ड ॲट दॅट इज अलाउड ॲट नाईट बट युजली यू शुड नॉट टेक द कर्ड ॲट नाईट दॅट इज आयुर्वेदाज प्रिन्सिपल because it can ferment fermented product increases the secretion you get sinusitis blockage of nose etc then for example dadhi kheer kheer is milk paan some uh, drinking water madhyapan ayurvedic not modern beer and rum and vodka no abhyanga little bit massage especially on the feet kasha cha vati me chhat dhout dhrit you can apply on the feet okay utsadana snan and manasukham this is most important tranquil you can hear very interesting you are liking music but of soft nature not dang 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 no dischaka dischaka dish it will not create the sound sleep smooth and relaxing music some flute some santur etc who i am talking about instruments now we will go further brahmacharya what is that brahmacharya let us see what is brahmacharya ब्रह्मचर्य शब्देन रिमेंबर ब्रह्मचर्य शब्देन इंद्रिय सैमन इंद्रिय संयम व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इट इज नॉट ओनली विथ सेक्स नॉट डुईंग सेक्स इज नॉट ब्रह्मचर्य इट इज अ कंट्रोल ऑफ ऑल युअर इंद्रिया ज्ञानेंद्रिय कर्मेंद्रिय अँड मन सो इंद्रिय संयम इज अ ब्रह्मचर्य ब्रह्मचर्य चृ चरती मीन्स लाईफ स्टाईल and brahmacharya is first 25 years of life when you are studying when you are taking the knowledge then you should have the control on your sensory and motor organs and mind that is indriya sayam so manasya freshness of your mind prabhutayo brahma jnana anuguna grihyante then you can get a proper knowledge that means vidya adhyatmik and also Uh, your uh, practical knowledge you can do the bms but you can understand who am i brahma vidya adhyatmik vidya everything is possible if you follow the brahmacharya that means control on your senses that is most important part now a brahmacharya a brahmacharya sambhoga importance of brahmacharya calibasi gives the longevity of life dirghayu strength physical and mental success in your life fame and if act attractiveness your personality will be very attractive it provides peace and the purity of the mind so my dear friends we will go next page and here on the left side we will try to see oh just a moment please give me some time to rectify what is happening with here okay that we have seen now we will go further okay importance of a brahmacharya okay we will see these two parallels here if a person controls his indriya in excess unwanted and his desire of copulation is not fulfilled then he may develop many diseases like meha medo vriddhi obesity then chithilata and manasik vikar like anxiety depression schizophrenia this type so ayurveda says uh all this control should be in moderation remember this word moderation golden mean suvarna madhya in marathi in sanskrit golden mean is english word not too excess and not too less at a proper time proper way 
and proper style. It should be adopted while doing the sexual activities. Now, here are some rules about the way of our year. One should practice sexual act according to a season and rules mentioned in the classics, Ayurvedic Samhita, only with his wife. Avoid it during the inauspicious day, avoid during the morning, avoid during the evening, etc. Woman suitable for intercourse, that is called as the Vrishya Tamas 3. Number one, Atulya Gotra. Because if Gotra, you know, for example, uh, my Gotra is a Jamandagni Gotra. So every family has their tree and sisters having some specific uh, uh, kula. Huh? So that kula uh, should not be equal of the husband and the wife. It has, research has been made and it has found that if they marry of the same gotra, then there may be, it's not 100%, it may be genetic problem or hereditary problems are more. Problems of chromosomes, problems of genes are more in this sagotra vivah. So, atulya gotra is important. Then, surupa, as per the, what you can say, in descent in look, personality, yavvanavastha, swastha, very uh, swastha samadoshaha samagnishya samadhatu malakriya, that is a swastha, shuddha, pure, snata and shikshita, well versed or educated. It is not BA, BCom, BSA, but understanding, knowledge should be there about the life. That is most important. We will go further. Now, here we are going to talk about effects of ativyavaya. Can you see? If any person indulges in excessive amount of sexual activity, it can cause the damage to the immunity. Shukrakshaya, viryanasha, daurubalya, weakness will be there. Klibata, that is the impotency, erectile dysfunction, vata vyadi, dhatu, kshejanya vata prakop, backache, headache, migraine, uh, tachycardia, palpitation, abnormal respiratory uh, inspiration and expiration, all that's a vatvivadi, musculoskeletal problems, neurological problems, brain problems. Then kshaya, degenerative changes, maybe tuberculosis, when the immunity is low, that mycobacterium tubercle TB uh, bacteria attacks on you. Then karsha, weight loss will be there, longevity will be less, then virya, nasha, fala, the person will suffer from klibata, aharshana, that means orgasm, the pleasure during the sexual act will not be getting daurubalya, weakness, mukha shosha, dryness, because dhatu kshayajanya, vata prako, pitta and vata will increase. Vata ruksha, vata chala will increase and pitta ushnata will increase. Pandu, anemic condition may occur. Sadhana, gatra sadhana, pure debility of the hands and legs. Shrama, like exertion and shukra avisarga, afterwards, if you re repeatedly going on uh, doing the intercourse too many times in a day, finally there will not, semen will not come out. Uh, temporary, this is always temporary phenomena. It is all the things are reversible. Don't get misunderstanding because there are a lot of misconception about this sex in the mind of the people. Now here, one important request for every viewer. Professor Deshpande is making variety of videos for everybody. There is one playlist Please check my playlist, Sex Education. And you will have to see each and every video from that Sex Education playlist. I hope that you will see and give me the feedback. Now, methods of Virya Raksha. One should follow the Brahmacharya, control on the senses. If married, he should perform the particular sexual act during the Rutu Kal. After completing five days of that cycle, then the typical period, you know, that from... Uh, example, 7th to next uh, 14th or 15th or 16th day, that is called the fertile period. During that uh, intercourse is uh, suggested by Ayurveda. Okay. Then only with his wife, intake of kshira processed with milk, medicated milk, shukra, la, like ashwagandha, jivaniya, huh? like uh, for anything, for example, amala, then bruhana, bala, is a vanaspati, medicated plant. You have to process that milk. Then enhances the shukra. Then you can take the rice, shali, goduma, wheat, kshira, milk, ghrita, medicated or simple cow's ghee, kukutanda, eggs. Then kukuta mouse, chicken, jangala mouse, etc. Vajikarana dravyas, which are the vajikarana dravyas which will increase the performance of sex, is a kapikachu, 
These are the names of the medicinal plants. Marsh, black gram. Marathi madhya ami thala udid mantu, udachi dal. Udde ete ete vade ogari mein tatna. Tik tumi khau shakta, kichari karu shakta. Ashwagandha. This is the best plant. Ashwagandha ghanavati is available. Ashwagandha rist is available in the market. Ashwagandha leh jam is also available. Shilajatu. There are Shilajatu ghanavati or Shilajitva divati. Vati means tablet are available. Shatavari kalp sugar granules with the milk. Always best medicine for this activity. Menstrual cycle, sorry, menstrual hygiene for the females. Effective menstrual hygiene is vital for the health, well-being, mobility and productivity of the women and the girls. So hygiene is the most important part in the relation of uh, husband and wife. Now we will try to see on the, uh, oh my God, just kindly excuse me if you don't mind. I will try to set my page. Sometimes it's because of the screen and all these things, this happens, okay. Now, we are starting with the new topic that is yoga, okay. So, let us talk about yoga. First, I will mark some things and then we will go further, okay. Yuja yujjate. Yuja yujjate. Unite. Unite. Unite of too many things. For example, atma and paramatma. The human energy with the divine energy. Human energy here and divine energy outside. Nature's energy. Huh? They, you, you, you should match with the nature. You should not always think of, sir, where is God? I am not in uh, favor of this understanding of God and forget about the God. I am saying nature is a God. N-A-T-U-R-E. Nisarga Hatsa Dev Ahe. Ayurveda says, Loka Purusha Samne Siddhanta. Huh? Purusha means human body. Loka means nature. So you have your body rhythm should always match with the nature. That is called as union. Getting up when the sun rises there. Our activity should be slow down when sunset, sunset is there. So this is called as a matching. Yuja yujjate. Then yoga chitta vritti niroda. Control cessation of mental modification due to the mind, intellect and ego. You have to control. Nirodha means controlling of your physical and mental activity. This is more perfect translation by Dr. Deshpande. Chitta, I think mind. Controlling your mental activities and vritti is a physical activity. So physical and mental activity control or doing it skillfully is called as yoga. Okay. Chitta vritti, pramana, viparya, vikalpa, nidra and smriti. I think this you line you can forget about. Then types of yoga. You can write down this thing. Number one, Raja Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Mantra Yoga, Laya Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga and Bhakti Yoga. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Seven types of yogas. Let us this Most important is Hatha Yoga. Please write down. Hatha Yoga is related with your asanas. Please write down. Hatha Yoga, H and Th. Surya Nadi and Chandra Nadi. Heat principle and cooling principle. Very simple I am explaining. Hatha Yoga. Hatha Yoga. Then chanting of O. O. Mantra Yoga. Then Jnana Yoga. Understanding, reading philosophical books. Spiritual books like Jnaneshwari. Then Tukaram Gatha. Ramdas Swami. Osho. Sadguru. These are the uh, all Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. So these are the Jnana Yoga. Karma Yoga. Huh? Swadhyaya. Swadhyaya Parivar is there. Huh? So doing some activity for the poor people. NGOs, non-governmental organization, doing the social work, they are Karma Yoga. Bhakti Yoga, all the workers. Panduranga, Panduranga, Vithala, 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 Vithala. So these are the Bhakti Yoga. Huh? Getting the uh, bhajan, pujan, kirtan, that is bhakti yoga. Okay, surrendering. God, you are doing all the things. I am just following your command. That is bhakti yoga. Totally surrender. Okay. Now let us see one by one the next things. Okay. My dear friends, just give me some minutes, one minute for making the clarity. <laughs> okay. Raj yoga. What is Raj yoga? One endowed with the knowledge about eternal soul, your Atma, 
soul principle and non eternal body that is anitya our body is uh, not uh, what you can say the eternal it's uh, atma was there in the past atma is there and atma will be there in future in the next birth also so atma is a continuous that is eternal non perishing but my physical body when i die it will mix with the mud and the sand you can burn my body and all the my bones muscles and all these things organs they will perish that destroy total mixing with the mud but my atma will not be burned it will not be buried in the sand it will remain as it is sukshma deh and it will travel for my next journey of the rebirth ayurveda believes on the rebirth thing okay so knowledge about this soul nitya and antya conquers the unhappiness produced due to the three guna that is sattva raja and tama and three bhav that is rag dvesh and trishna three bhav rag emotions dvesh that means jealousy with the another person and trishna craving craving for the food craving for the money craving for the power craving for position craving craving crave greediness we will all when we understand who we are we are not only the physical body we are the soul we are the divine power then you can get happiness eternal happiness okay by spiritual power philosophical power and gains victory over the chitta vritti your mind will be stable cool and calm this is called as a raj yoga so raj yoga is near about gnan um, yoga i think it is very near to the gnan yoga understanding ourselves it is a raj yoga there is no postures and asanas and surya namaskar paschimottasan vakrasan dhanurasan no raj yoga this is best in all the yoga understanding of ourselves is most important then you can become king of your own life that is raj yoga hatha yoga with the help of gross body control over chitta vritti by the practice of pranayam deep breathing pranayam asanas padmasana tadasana by a strong person is called as hat yoga gnan huh? yoga the person devoid of irsha dvesh kama krodha gets unite with the parmatma by gaining knowledge about the self that is atma gnan that's why i have said ki raj yoga and gnan yoga are very very near to each other okay then karma yoga when should always perform his duties without any expectation shri krishna in a bhagavad gita says karmanne vadhigaraste ma phaleshu kadachan whatever we are doing should be for the uh, enjoyment of that activity and not understanding of the fruits i always give the example of my lectures when dr deshpande professor deshpande is doing anything he is doing for his own happiness and not uh, he is not doing anything what the other people will admire me how they will admire me whether i can get any prize and money and this thing name fame and money that target is should not be basic target basic target your own happiness whatever i am doing for the for example on the youtube is not for the up and downs and the best comments and stars and the followers and the subscribers and the money and google ads and and views no i am doing myself as a my own satisfaction i am being genuinely honestly and whatever the things that are, that are coming they are of the result of my act okay so this is without expect you should not all the uh, automatically the fruits will come try to understand i am not saying for example you are studying very hard my all the students they are studying very hard uh, listening my lecture so so i will not pass sir yes you will definitely pass but when you are studying you should not always tense oh i am giving one hour for this hearing lecture for the full time because i want to see reels of one minute these lectures of one hour why you are spending because you are enjoying the knowledge and automatically when you implement that knowledge in your examination theory and practical you will be automatically will get the more marks so that fruits will automatically come but if you are thinking and thinking only about the fruits you cannot enjoy the knowledge 
that is the most important okay uh, it should not be happen that one does not do any work one has to do the work but enjoy the work and not the results yoga prayojana why we are doing the yoga moksha pravartaka here one interesting word which is misinterpreted by many books and many teachers and many people moksha is not going to the heaven moksha is not like that what dishpande is saying what is moksha what write down sat chit anand please write down s a t sat chit c h i t sat chit anand what is that sat chit anand happiness of your mind and all the body sat is permanent permanent you will be happy that is the benefit of doing yoga so yoga doing is not the asana doing of course you have to do the asanas you have to do the pranayam you have to do the dhyana but you have to live the yoga you have to live the yoga principle in your life then you will be get eternal happiness which happiness will not depend on any name fame and money you will just enjoy your life by your own deeds because you are understanding what is real yoga okay so my dear friends i think we should go further on the left side i will try to move a little slowly because i don't want to get confused here you can see now i will read this particular yoga abhyasa pratibandhak bhav yoga abhyasa pratibandhak bhav over eating is always dangerous when you are doing any posture that's why when you are doing posture two or three simple things one has to do what are things wear the loose clothes not the tight jeans and tight shirts and all these things no not allowed here collar and coat no 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 loose clothes white clothes very pleasant and then clean it should be clean and after eating minimum 3 to 4 hours there be, there should be gap in between doing yoga postures and eating immediately after eating any doing any exercise is very very bad for your health it can have the problem with the heart and you can get a heart attack yes i am saying that okay so alpahar is also bad ati ahar is also bad ati ahar and alpahar prayas over exertion prajalp these are some sanskrit terms you can uh, screenshot recording everything you can do talkativeness too much talk is not good okay then niyamagrah adhering to the rules uh, you will say sir adhering to rules is bad no that is a extreme again i am saying anything extreme is a bad okay then jana sang company of the lot of people always and laulya that is a greediness laulya is a greediness that are that can hamper the progress of yoga i am not saying it will uh, the person cannot do the yoga but the progress will not or the whatever the benefits he will not get properly if these things are there now yoga abhyas the pratibandhak bhav is another obstruction and siddhi kar bhav when you get the yoga properly done what benefits you will get what benefits you will get siddhi yoga siddhi utsah first you will be always enthusiastic sahas you will get the mental and physical courage dhairya keep down cool down cool down patience sir when you are going to teach paper to sir when you are going to take this portion sir when you are going to take this subject all is patient so you should not be patient but should be patience there is a difference in these words okay be cool and calm tatva gyan you get will the fantastic knowledge of the yourself and also about your uh, uh, what a practical knowledge about to earn the money like somebody will engineer somebody will doctor somebody will be the laborer whatsoever a uh, nischaya determination janasanga parityag that means you can then enjoy your own alone uh what you can stay also because now we are so extroverted so much extroverted that very less time we can enjoy with ourselves we ca we can't stay alone never never then we will get start fearing and uneasiness that should not happen you can enjoy your own company also with your soul uh, adhyatma next we'll go next topic that is called as a panchakosha just uh, wait just wait here can you see here so if you want to reach up to this final anand sat chit anand you have to keep the maintain all these primary layers 
shit or understanding first is annamaya kosha shit of the food stuff what does it mean you are jatragni you are dhatvagni you are panchabhutikagni should be excellent your digestion of protein carbohydrate fats should be excellent your avasthapak mudra avasthapak amla avasthapak kato avasthapak should be excellent then dhatu pachana vyapar dhatvagni should be normal so each and every metabolic process when it is perfect physically fit then you can proceed further then you have to take care of pranamaya kosh oxygenation proper oxygenation that's why breathing is very important sitting is very important because that only your shwas or respiration can connect your body and mind remember this my words only can connect your body and mind this particular breath so control on the breathing is very important protection <coughs> from the air pollution is also important that is pranamaya kosh the next level manomaya kosh we do many things many many things for our physical pleasure we take the good clothes good shoes good ornaments good watches good mobile everything we do physical pleasure but what we are doing for our mental health what we are doing huh? we are not using our mental faculty very well so for that matter dhyan dharana meditation reading good books seeing the good movies taking the knowledge from the good people so this is the development of your mind tranquility of mind is more important for getting final success then vidyanam yakush just now we have seen the raj yoga or jnana yoga understanding of yourself who am i what should be my purpose of life dharma artha kama and moksha what is the last purpose sat chit ananda that is moksha and last is anandam yakush when you get a conquer when you get balance of all these previous koshas you will get excellent and permanent happiness for every moment of your life that is anandamaya okay next we will go about the next topic i am sorry once again little bit can coordinating with this uh, cursor uh, cursor this this cursor okay ashtanga yoga these are the names you must learn by heart these are very very important examiner will definitely ask tell me ashtanga yoga so yama niyama asana one first yama second niya niyama third asana then fourth pranayam breathing exercises pratyahar then dharana dhyan and samadhi total can you see five and three eight eight names should be must what is yama that is abstinence what you have to do ahinsa non violence satya always speak the truth and act should be truthful asteya belief on the divine power brahmacharya controlling the senses aparigraha not keeping all the satha in marathi we say the satha hey merchants what they do they make the unnecessary black storage of the sugar and vegetables and all this and that so lot of storage 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 that is you should not do that that is aparigraha niyama what is niyama observers cleanliness shauch physical cleanliness mental cleanliness santosh try to remain happy tapas some do some efforts then swadhyaya repetitive act of the good things that is swadhyaya ishwar worshiping the divine power and pranidhan the same ishwar pranidhan okay so these are the two things now we will try to shift on the right side of the page slowly and steadily i'm sorry there may be some problem with this again i have to go back maybe okay sorry sorry my dear friends uh, this can happen this can happen there is not a uh, okay next is asana sthira sukham asana you try to see that hatha yoga my yoga, one of the yoga teacher sadashivaran imbalkar from bombay late sadashivaran imbalkar from bombay best yoga teacher he has written also book sadashivarao nimbalkar and one of his uh, sentence when i teach with him he said hatha yoga that is asana He is not hatta yoga in Marathi. Hatta means I will have to do that. I must be able to do the dhanurasan. I must be able to do the uh, vakrasan or the badmas. It is not compulsory or mandatory. In the posture, you have to make a slowly and steadily practice, and 
the asana when you do any posture you should feel comfortable comfortable feeling is most important in doing the asanas that i uh, doesn't mean that you should do the laziness and don't try you can try but don't make a force to do that okay surya namaskar okay then hasta uttasana asan pada asta these are the different names i am not going to tell you each and everything parvata asana ashtanga bhujanga asana uh, then pada asta asana etc so you can see here the surya namaskar podesh 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so these are the cycles okay now next we will go further standing postures but these are very simple anybody can do that ardha kati chakrasana then pad hastasana yeah your hands are touching to the pad then uh, ardha chakrasana can you bend bending ex exercise ardha chakrasana and this is trikonasana okay we will go further sorry sitting postures first is a swastikasana then here second can you see the cursor gomukhasana then this is also gomukhasana from front from the back this is padmasana can you see the cursor padmasana padmasana i will try then uh, vajrasana this can you see vajrasana this one is vajrasana okay then bhadrasana okay then shashankasana then this is tongue of ah simhasana then ushtrasana then paschimottanasana supta vajrasana ardhamatthendrasana and siddhasana okay now we will try to go further there is some little time with us huh? we will try is not force that i am completing this thing but i will try how much possible okay here can you see i think next page is over here okay supine position lying on the back can you see pavana muktasan best whenever there is a gas problem in the stomach this is the pavana muktasan this is sarvangasan for the thyroid problems and endocrine system then this is matsyasana then halasana then chakrasana okay this is very easy easiest asana if anybody ask me i like this asana shavasana like a, lying down like a dead person shava is a dead person okay chavasana then setu bandhasana most difficult and shirshasana also difficult but whenever there is a migraine whenever there is a neurological problem take the advice of your doctor whether i should do this exercise or not every asana has a indication and contraindication don't forget i will go further now prona position lying down on the abdomen and then you can see this is a bhujanga asana again good for the respiratory cardiac problem and the endocrine problem then this is shalabhasan best for the backache but take the advice of the orthopedic surgeon then shalabhasana dhanurasana okay and mayurasana okay these are the different posture what is pranayam pranayam is a deep breathing exercise so okay? pranasya ayama ayama means extension we are extending the time period from inspiration and expiration every time we this rr rate is a 14 per minute huh? but here when i take a deep breath like this i have the interesting videos on my youtube channel please my dear students go and see the playlist yoga and all this explanation all these postures dr deshpande has shown you some interesting and very simple posture that you can do by yourself so please i am not going to talk much about this you have to go to the yoga playlist and see each and every video and try to make the notes okay now stages rechak purak kumbhak holding holding the breath is called as a kumbhak when you hold antak kumbhak expiration hold bahik kumbhak holding inside antak kumbhak holding outside bahik kumbhak holding after inspiration antak kumbhak holding after expiration bahik kumbhak okay now types of the pranayam these are also important for written question pranayam all the time there are a lot of questions on the pranayam describe surya bhedana pranayam ujjayi pranayam write down the different names of the pranayam and explain any one of the pranayam etc so surya bhedana ujjayi sitkari shitali bhasrika bhramari murcha and plavani so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट टाइप्स ऑफ द प्राणायाम लर्न बाय हार्ट सूर्य भेदेन उज्ज ई प्राणायाम सित करी प्राणायाम शीतली प्राणायाम भस्त्रिका प्राणायाम भस्त्रिका प्राणायाम ब्राह्मणी प्राणायाम मूर्छा प्राणायाम एंड प्लावनी प्राणायाम ओके बेनिफिट्स ऑफ प्राणायाम मल शोधन मल मीन्स नॉट ओनली स्टूल्स मल मीन्स व्हाट एवर द आमा इज इन आवर बॉडी आम टॉक्सिक मटेरियल इनडाइजेस्टेड मटेरियल आम साम पित्त साम कफ साम वात सो आम इज अ टॉक्सिन इट मे बी एंडोजिनस और इट मे बी एक्सोजिनस फ्रॉम द बैक्टेरिया वायरसेस एक्सेट्रा सो ऑल दिस इम्प्युअर मैटर इन युअर बॉडी विल बी क्लीन आउट दैट इज डी टॉक्सिफिकेशन ओके I have one signal. My internet connection is little bit weak, but I hope that the video is going on. Okay. Next, Mala Shodhan is not only stools and urine. Remember, Nadi Shuddhi, that whole Sushumna Nadi, whole our energy flow will be clarified. Then Sarva Roga Kshaya, that means your immunity will be so strong that you cannot suffer from any disease. Then features of Nadi Shuddhi, Kaya Satya Krishata. कांसत्य दीपस्थंक्ष एंड आरोग्य आई थिंक बेटर वे यू जस्ट मेक अ क्वेश्चन मार्क ओवर देयर आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टर्म्स आफ्टर सम टाइम प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी फॉर दैट मैटर बट मेक अ क्वेश्चन मार्क ऑन फीचर्स ऑफ नाडी शुद्धि प्लीज मेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट मेक अ क्वेश्चन मार्क आई विल एक्सप्लेन आफ्टर सम बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टर्म्स नाडी शोधन प्राणायाम सीट इन पद्मासना जालंधर बंध देन अनुलोम एंड विलोम Kumbhak in Mula Band. Now these bandhas are the typical postures. Band is another concept in yoga. I am going to explain afterwards after some time. But this is the simple thing I have explained to you. Anuloma Viloma, taking from one nostril and exhaling from another nostril is called as a Anuloma Viloma Pranaya. Okay. But some other terms we will try to explain at some other time because today we don't have the much time. only few minutes are left with me so if possible let me complete this ashtanga yoga pratyahar control over the sensory organs sensory what are those shrotra tvak skin chakshu eyes rasana and ghran control on these organs control okay then dharana concentration now i am seeing on the screen and i steadily staring that particular screen continuously i am making a dharana concentration concentrate that's why you know i have always a deshpande sir as a habit why we are concentrating on that things we are forgetting other screen only on that thing that is a concentration dhyana unbroken flow of meditation dhyana is nothing but the meditation sa guna dhyana or nirguna dhyana if i now i have to concentrate on this particular uh, marked portion that is a sa guna dhyana but if i close my eyes and nothing is in front of me trans no image no person no event and i am making a concentration that is a nirguna dhyan okay samadhi just a moment i will see do you have to write yoga asanas with benefits and contraindications yes my dear friends that yoga asanas you have to make your own notes of each asana but please 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 see the previous question paper and whichever the maximum asanas they have asked first try to prepare the notes on those asanas only you have to you will be asked the procedure also you will be asked the benefits indications and contraindication that means benefits and contraindication where you should not do that particular asanas uh, everything you have to please make the note of each asana but which asanas sir previous question papers which they have asked that should be first and then be many okay but you should do it yes that is a correct question now samadhi i have already explained that these are the difficult terms oneness with the mediated object that means unity of the jivatma and parmatma getting the sat chit anand is called as a samadhi okay and the last topic for today's my dear friends you write down over there from the seven pages we have completed only four pages please write down you have to tell me uh, which were the last page it was a fourth page we have now 5 6 7 we will complete in the next lecture next sunday swastavrutta lecture so today shatakarma the last topic of today 
already we have 12 17 two minutes extra but three minutes i will uh, get more extra for you regular practice of shatta karma leads to the purification this is the most important i will mark again for the meditation you have to concentrate over your purification dhauti what is dhauti help in clearing the impurities of the body antar dhauti okay then these are the different terms vatasar varisar but you forget about this antar dhauti danta dhauti uh, Rudha Dhauti, these are the terms, but most important is the Danda Dhauti or the Vastra Dhauti and Vamana Dhauti. Only these words you first remember. That means they put some cloth inside. Special skill is required. This cannot be done by any person. Shatta Karma can be practiced only and only after repeated training from the best yoga teacher. Don't try to do yourself. Nothing. Never. Never. Okay. So Vastra Dhauti is with some. Uh, cloth and danda dhauti is with the catheter, rubber tube, catheter. These two terms are more important. Forget about all other things. Then, basti, similar to the Ayurveda, but they don't use the oil or decoction, jala basti. Just taking the water inside and taking them out. Huh? Then, neti, nasal passage. We get the nasya, neti. They have the neti, sutra neti and jala neti. With the water, putting the water over here, some pot is available and taking out on the other side. Training is required. And sutra is a thread, cotton thread, and you have to just move like this, putting out here, taking it out, and moving like this. You can have the videos of also on the YouTube. Please see the videos of all these yoga, shatakarma. Definitely there are fantastic videos. Okay? So please see those videos. Then Nauli, moving the stomach and intestine. Ramdev Baba is many times doing this, moving of the intestine. Nauli. And this is very... Uh, Ramdev Baba is a master of yoga. Then Trataka continued looking at some object like you are concentrating on the marked area that is called the Trataka. Mostly the lamp is taken. Niranjana. In uh, what you can say, I have also just a moment I will try to show you. So fortunately, I have this solar Niranjana. So you have to make it the lamp and just look to that particular lamp. But I think in spite of this artificial. I will say that your cotton wick, put it in the cow's ghee and then burn it. That particular niranjan or the oil lamp is best for Trataka, concentrating on that thing. Kapala Bhati, huh? again the fast respiration, then Vama Karma, Vit Karma and Shita Karma, these are the different things. But firstly, you have to remember this Dhauti, Basti, Neti, Nauli, Trataka and Kapal Bhati. My dear friends, I am very sorry but because of the time restraint, we have to stop. It is a 12.20 now. 12 plus 20 minutes. Okay. Thank you very much for your patience hearing. We will see you in the today evening from 3 to 4 for Charaka Uttarardha class. Thank you very much and take care.